Hello everybody, it's Ben with Dash 9 Computing, and today I wanted to fiddle a bit with the LilyGo TPGo C3, which has the Raspberry Pi RP2040 chip on it, and also an ESP32 C3 chip on it. That's quite a mouthful. But this, uh, this TPGo C3 is interesting um, because it has both chips, but the LCD is attached to the Raspberry Pi that, that shipped the um, 2040. So we can't have the ESP32 directly print to the screen. You have to have it send it via kind of a web browser from one chip to the other. So um, let's, I, I found some code here and you're looking at the page from Russ Hughes. I don't know who that is, but I just sort of did a Google, found it. And um, inside this ST7789 MPY, it has a 77 ST7789 TFT. That's the type of screen this particular um, chipset uh, or LilyGo board has. And I found some um, code and examples, and I, why don't I just run you through some of them? They're, they're pretty cool. I was gonna fiddle with them and do some other things, but I've just been crazy busy, as I'm sure you have been. But uh, let's just do a little tour and um, you know, see what some of the graphical capabilities are uh, and what we can do with some of these buttons and things. All right, this is gonna be fun. Let's check it out. So here is the pinball code, the original. I made a couple little changes. So here's flipper right and left with little buttons. And you get one point per ball. Oh, down it goes, two balls left. So I um, made a couple little tweaks to make it so that it would run. Oh, oh there goes ball. <laughs> Not doing great. Oh, it's counting down. Okay, here we go. Let me see if I can hit it a couple times. Yeah, so this is written in MicroPython. And uh, I'll post the code. So pretty cool. I want to show you when we get to a certain score. Oh, you see that M a counter at the bottom, M7, M64. That is the multi-ball counter. And there we go. When you get 30... Uh, bumper bounces from the ball, it starts multi-ball mode, and you can tell it's running a lot slower all of a sudden. Uh, it's a lot of, oh, I lost the ball. It's a lot of processing, but pretty fun. Wanted to show you. Oh, game over there, you go, wow, wow. Pretty cool, right? Okay, I'm gonna run you through some different code. This is called bit array. <laughs> Looks like little Pac-Man. So I'm going to stop that code. You'll see it'll freeze. And I'm going to run this one's called Feathers. Which is pretty cool. I really like that graphic. Isn't that neat? And I'm going to pause that. We'll go to... This one's a classic. I'm not going to tell you the name yet. Oh. Flying Toasters from the old Mac days. <laughs> Let's see here, this one's called scroll. Okay, here it's just gonna scroll text and color and a font. Good kind of tester -y. Um, That's all the ones I have for the moment. I just wanted to show you inside Thony, the app, um, some of the, not really so much of the code, but how I'm kind of loading it might be useful. So this top box up here, is my local computer. Down here is the Raspberry Pi Pico because I'm plugged into that RP2040. Um, have the cord oriented on this particular board. And here's the code, bit ray feathers. And basically what you do is you'll stop whatever's happening. You pick um, some code, let's say, uh, um, I'm just gonna close these. So let's say you have, uh, you open up feathers then you can click play and it will run. And now that you can't see my screen, but it's running on my screen. You have to stop it, open up another piece of code like bit array, then you can play that one. And that way you can kind of toggle through. If you want this to come on every time you boot, so you don't, if you're not plugged in, say you're just plugged into a battery pack, change the name of one of these files, one of these running scripts to, here's the paintball, uh, to main. Dot .py and it will boot every time. 
I don't recommend doing it right off the bat. It's good to kind of test the code, and if it doesn't work, it's, 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 it feels a little easier to just change this. You don't kind of have it always booting into that. But yeah, I could just simply rename this uh, and call it main.py. And another great thing about this is I can edit this code right on the actual uh, board itself. I could edit that up here and then upload it, but it's kind of nice sometimes to be like, oh, what happens if I just change this from black to white? Let me just see, you do it, file save it, and then upload it. And you just sort of, it's, you know, it's pretty, or actually you don't even have to upload it, you just save it here and away it goes. You can then download it back down to your system, or you can edit it here, let's say that, and then you can say upload to, and you can upload it to your uh, Raspberry Pi Pico. So super cool, super handy. Uh, also in the directory, you'll notice here's a BMP, that's the flying toaster. Um, also here's some fonts I uploaded. Uh, this just helps with the, to make the screen and the buttons actually work uh, for some of the code. So all of this is actually on the board, on the, in the memory, so I can just toggle around and just change, I can call like, you know, paintball, pinball, I can call it main.py, and then it'll boot into pinball every time. So that's it. Thought you'd like it. All right. Thanks for watching. Bye.